What's up y'all? We are back for another video and in this video I will be giving some tips to keep in mind when living with extendo nails which I love so much. Y'all I just love having long nails. Um, I know that oftentimes there's a stigma around it but I am not worried about any of that. I love having my long nails. I love having space to do so many different designs and just yeah, I just like how it feel when I'm eating with long nails, especially when I'm eating my seafood. Y'all know I love crab legs. If you follow me on Instagram, you remember my weekly trips to the seafood market every Friday. I just love eating my seafood with my extendo nails. Girls who like get their nails done often. Sometimes on their birthday, they like to go a little longer. So this is just some like tips to keep in mind. If you are just like starting with extendo nails or you just got your first extendo set or you want to get your extendo set, so these are some of the things that I wish I would have known that would have saved me some time, that would have saved me some headaches, that would have saved me some broken nails because y'all having a broken nail is not fun and it really all comes down to like, you know, just how you living with your nails. So yeah, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, debit card machines. Now let me tell y'all, I cannot forget the first time when I was trying to take money out of my card and it was late at night and I could not get money out because I couldn't stick my card in the machine and stick it out and pull it out real quick. So I was at a machine where, you know, you have to like stick the card in and take it out real quick. Y'all, I, I didn't know what to do because the my nails were so long, I had to push the card in piece by piece. I couldn't just stick it in like swoop, swoop. And stick it right back out because my nails were so long so then that's when someone had put me on to a tip to put tape at the end of your card so that you can stick it in and pull it right back out really quickly y'all this is a lifesaver this saved me so much time this has helped me so much like y'all don't even understand i was like i didn't know this because i had no money and i couldn't take money out but y'all this is something to keep in mind i like to use a blue tape because it matches my debit card because i got chase but um yeah y'all make sure if y'all got those real long extendo nails that y'all put a little piece of debit excuse me a little piece of tape on the end of y'all debit card so y'all can stick it in and pull it right out okay second thing the next thing is tension on your nails. Y'all, when you got these long nails, like, first of all, when you don't have nails, I know you're, like, used to doing everything with your fingertips. But if you have long nails, like, you should put less straps on the tips of your nails as much as possible. So when you are punching buttons, instead of, like, pushing buttons with, like, the tip of your finger, you should really push them with your knuckle. Yeah, your knuckle. You should really push them with your knuckle. That way to just put less tension on your nails. It's not so bad if you use your fingertips, I guess not. Like, but you know, like you ever go to the nail salon and then like you hear the person doing your nails saying, you're too hard on your nails, you're too hard on your nails. I think this is what they be talking about. <laughs> like you put too much tension on them. But I would just say it's just best to you lose, to like use your knuckle when you're doing stuff like this to just like, put less tension because if you don't have to put tension on your nails then then why do it girl why do it all right this next one right here is opening and closing cabinets and stuff with handles now y'all see this wouldn't really seem like that this could be something that could potentially turn into like um some nail bed pain but it can let me tell you y'all one time i opened a door and closed it too quickly and I forgot to like pull my nail all the way out from underneath the handle and y'all when I tell you that that thing hurt so bad it had like part right here that part right there was so long it had pretty much pressed up against the cabinet instead of like coming all the way out from underneath the bar and y'all it was just so painful it's so painful so that's one thing to keep in mind is that when you're closing and opening cabinets you want to do it from the bottom and not really using the handle if you are going to use the handle just be mindful so take your fingernail all the way from out from under the bar see because when you got your when you're using your fingertips you don't really have to worry about that you could just put your hand on the on the bar pull it right off and then close it right back but sometimes you forget how long that nail is and that nail could get caught right underneath that handlebar painful y'all so sometimes it's better to just pull it from the bottom so that you don't forget and you don't hurt your nail okay 
And y'all, I'm getting out of glass. We just gonna get a glass out this cabinet. I'm about to drink a Coke. So I think I'm gonna get a Coke glass. You know, sometimes my glasses be in competition with each other. They be like, pick me, pick me. No, pick me. They all love to be drank out of. So sometimes I just have to show them like equal attention. And I think this cup over here needs a little bit more attention. So I'm gonna take this glass out of the cabinet and we're gonna drink out of this one because I'm drinking a Coke out of a can. And yeah, let's use this one. Okay, y'all, so here's the canned soda. And so sometimes, here's another thing. Opening a canned soda can be very difficult sometimes when you have on your extendo nails. But don't worry, y'all. There is a way around this. And if you've been having nails for a long time, I know you already know this. And it is using a quarter, nickel, penny, anything you got to open the can. What you do is you should stick it right under that eight, number eight looking shape thing. I don't know what that's called, but um, you just stick it right under there. Okay, you see how I'm just sliding it in. And then you could even pull it all the way forward or you could just take the the um, the um coin out from under the thing and just put your finger in and then just pull it up just like that. That way you don't got to put tension on your nails. You don't got to be sitting there flickering, trying to get the thing to open. It comes right up, y'all. You up to let you know your man been messing around. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. Now let's talk about picking up coins from off the floor. I cannot tell y'all how many times in the beginning when I first was having long nails, how many people would just be looking at me, watching me, staring at me, saying, Oh, your nails are too long. Because uh, I couldn't pick up coins from off the floor. But <laughs> over time, I started to learn, you know, what pretty much works for me for picking up the coins. And that is pretty much pulling the coins to your finger at an angle. So that is pretty much pulling the coins to your finger with the thumb and pulling it up just like that trying to pick it up with both of the tips of the fingers is not going to work with two fingers like two knuckles is not really you know helpful at times either a lot of times using just the tip of that thumb and then the side of your index finger swoop pick it right on up y'all just pull the coin to your hand with the tip of your fingernail on your thumb and pull it to the side of your finger pick it right on up y'all and then that uh, coin is going to be picked up in no time and the people staring at you thinking that you're never going to get it off the floor boom in your face picked up just like that there you go now here's the infamous one that people always want to know how do you wipe yourself okay y'all with long nails extendos you still wipe yourself just as normal okay i'm um, trust me it's no different what i do is i wrap the tissue and i put it all the way up to the fingertips of my nails that's what i do that's it y'all not a big deal just put it all the way up to the fingertips of your nails and then go ahead and do your business okay now i don't like to fold the tissue when i have long nails because i just feel like you know the tissue is shorter than and i like for it to cover like you know mostly all the way down to the bottom of my nail now you can do it this way I, but you can y'all it's, it's just me doing it this way but this is like just what works for me it's just like covering like my whole hand as much as possible all the way up to the like the tip and just swipe that's that do what you do y'all do what you do and I also just like to use like the feminine wipes as well or like any of like the flushable wipes. Y'all put it over the tissue, you're fine. Trust me, it's not as big of a difference as people think that it is. It's not y'all. It's just that you put the tissue all the way up to the fingertips of your nails. That's all girl. That is all. And on to the next thing. The next thing is digging through stuff, okay? This is my beauty cart, y'all. I got so much stuff on here. This ain't even all the stuff that I got, but this is the stuff that I kind of would use like a little bit more often than other things. But I got all my hair stuff at the top and then all my beauty, my makeup stuff on the bottom of that. And you know, when you're digging through stuff, y'all, sometimes you could like hit your nail against something and it'll be so painful. 
So in this uh, snippet, I just want to show y'all like when y'all digging through stuff, it is best to dig with that index finger tucked in you guys so for an example right here you see how i'm pulling out this makeup brush cleaner from the crayon case shout out to the crayon case y'all i have so much stuff <laughs> i'm always shopping crayon case but um when you are digging for stuff you see how i pulled that out with my index finger okay the second way i'm doing it is i'm pulling it out with my index finger tucked in so sometimes some things will be in a tight space and you have to dig it out with your the tip of your nail first but as soon as you get it out as much as you can tuck back that index finger y'all so that you can start getting into the habit of tucking that index finger back but sometimes when you dig in your purse y'all you don't really know everything that you might have at the bottom of your purse like you don't you know, you might forget something that you put in there that might be hard. You might rub up against, brush up against your phone, and that will hurt, y'all, if you stick your finger down in there and it can just hit up against something. Y'all, it can be painful. So a lot of times, like, when you're digging through stuff and you don't really know, like, you know, you can't really see what you're digging through, tuck in that index finger, y'all, to save some of that tension on that nail and to save just, like, the possibility they is doing something in this lobby out there, y'all. I don't know what they doing. But, um, yeah, sucking that index finger to, like, try to miss hitting that nail up against something. All right, y'all. So, for the next thing, I wanted to talk about just washing your hands. Now, everybody does not have to do this. This is just something that is helpful for me. When I am eating that food that is, you know, got a lot of sauce on it and stuff like that, I just like to always wash my nails with this nail brush because I feel like the bristles get all in between the cracks and everything else in between your um, nails and um, your actual fingertips and then all down the long nails. The long part of the um, nail tips, excuse me, <laughs> I feel like it really helps with that and you know you don't have to do this. Sometimes I also even carry a pair of gloves outside with me like if I'm going to be in a restaurant and eating certain types of food and I don't like have my nail brush with me but y'all this nail brush just it just makes the the washing your hands process like a little bit more quicker for me everybody does not have to do this but it's something that um this brush I always keep it on the side of my sink so that when I am eating those saucy foods I can go ahead and use my brush Called you up to let you know your man been messing around. He been messing around. I guess he didn't know you at all. Cause he swam in my DM. Not a nigga drowning. Yeah. Okay, y'all. And the last thing is just keeping your cuticles moist that's all now i know y'all with covid i know especially for me sometimes my hands be ashy as y'all can see like in the beginning of this video because you're constantly washing your hands and you don't always feel like going back and putting an oil on your cuticles but this um skin oil right here that i got from victoria's secret pink it you know it goes ahead and moisturizes your skin a little bit goes a long way and it hits those cuticles nice and well and it's not too thick so it's pretty lightweight which means that it doesn't take too long to absorb into the skin because i know what it's like like it could be kind of annoying having like all that oil on your hands and then you scared to touch stuff you know you touch your wall and then you start to see like a little grease mark on your wall in your house and it is not cute but um for the most part keeping your cuticles oil just like makes a different appearance on your nails i feel like they look nicer when your cuticles are oiled and um you know it just makes all the difference but all right you guys that's all i have for today if y'all know any other tips for people with extendo nails drop them in the comments below also if you want to see this nail look go ahead and watch the video that i posted before this one i did do these nails with the nail house new v-day line acrylics and y'all i just love this style so much if you just want to see how i did it go back and watch that video before this one and y'all let me know what you think don't forget to like 
please subscribe and also you guys if anyone ever asked me if I thought it was worth it having long nails worth it man what I think it wasn't working man getting beat down Yeah, y'all, it's worth it. It's a little bit of maintenance, but I like it. I just love long nails. I love Extendo, y'all. So talk to you later, guys. Bye.